Good morning, Interboro. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, stay tuned for today's edition of Kaleidoscope. Good morning, Edinburgh. This is Olivia Rainey and Chelsea McCarthy with today's Kaleidoscope. Any 9th, 10th, or 11th graders interested in playing football next season and lifting weights, please join Coach Long and the other football coaches in the auditorium. Wednesday, 12-15, the meeting will start at 12.30 after school. Hope to see you there. Water fountains are now accessible to staff and students. Students may continue to bring their own refillable water bottles as they will have the availability to refill as needed. Students also purchase water from the cafeteria if needed. Please bring any 16 to 24 ounce spray bottles to the activities office for a chance to win a $25 Wawa gift card. New bottles will earn you one chance for a gift card and recycled bottles will earn you two chances. Deadline today at 9.30 a.m. Please help Interboro save the frogs. Winner will be announced Monday on K-Scope. Today will be picture retakes for teachers and students. The class of 2025 will be hosting a candy gram sale starting on Monday. The price is $1 per gram and will be sold during all lunches and after school. Delivery will be 12 16 during advisory. Good morning, everyone. Here are this week's PBIS gift card winners. As is always the case, if your name is picked, please come down to the main office at this time. So here we go. First of all, we have a 12th grade winner, and it is Alexis Crosley. Next, we have a ninth grade winner. It is Will Estrada. Next, we have 10th grade winner it is Kyle Brown. And our 11th grade winner is Lori Ward. And our faculty member is Miss Doherty. So will these five people please come down to the main office at this time. Go Bucks. Hey, Scoopman, there's a problem. We don't know what the weather's gonna be tomorrow, man. We need to know. What is it? The weather? You don't know the weather? No, I need to know. Easy, man. It's gonna be a high of 52 degrees. It's partly cloudy and low of 34 at night, man. Oh, thank you, Scoop Man. You're a lifesaver. Thank you, man. Hello, Interbell. Today we're gonna to be reviewing Masters of the Universe Revelations. This show is a continuation of the original 80s TV show and takes place a few years after he and his sculptor's big fight at Castle Grayskull. The main characters have to bring back magic into the world. The show has some cartoonish and childish tones while also having a dark and gritty tone. The show has good character moments and great fight scenes. This show is a great watch. Master of the Universe can be watched on Netflix and this show gets a 9 out of 10. That's all for today. Have a great day in a row.